Welcome back to the 16th of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio and today we're gonna do a quick one so basically grabbing our weapon and boom we want to have some recoil so nothing too special too specific and of course more recoil <laughs> the faster the weapon is brrrr. of course here the weapon is a little bit slower than less recoil but I guess this is giving the thing a little realistic touch so let's get right into the good stuff this is one up in the skipping my intro subscribe if you haven't and share and like that would be amazing of course comments are more than welcome so let's go into our project the hotline clone which crashed and therefore I had to restore it. yay me and uh, so therefore the room looks a little different because it is an entire different new same-ish something something project so let's go uh, quickly uh, just show what this is all about so basically we are having two sprites one is the player and one is the weapon and the they are just basically overlapping so for example if you're turning around the player then we can take the same image angle and then both are turning around and this is good but now we need to do something like this so basically we are dislocating the weapon backwards so not in the direction of the player but in the opposite so minus 180 boom and then we need something which is just like hey mate let's uh, move it back but not instantly but slowly so therefore we're gonna lerp that so let's do quickly the the whole code because it's not too difficult in my opinion but hey so first of all we need a movement which is like just saying like hey um move that thing back so recoil recovery i don't know something like this and therefore we need uh, two little nice variables which are called weapon x and uh, weapon y these ones of course we need to well create in our create event let's see if i have them already here nope oh, i already have them sweet so basically we set them to x and y and for now they are doing nothing and well we need to love them and of course we then say like hey you are for example x but that would be kind of pointless to do because then it's not changing anywhere so therefore we just say lop so basically this is the recovery and then we say hey between our x position which for now is not changing and then i don't know let's put in a lerp amount here i put in a value which is roughly 30 percent so basically 30 percent of well uh, this guy here so basically this is good of course if we ramp up the value more to the one which we are gonna dislocate in a few seconds then um, the well the lerping will take more time and of course here we do the same part but of course with y and for now we are basically doing nothing because this variable is not in use for now so therefore we actually because now oh, here was a so basically here this was our drawn weapon and then we just replaced the x and the y value boom and then we have it and for now nothing will basically change because this value hasn't been changed so let's for example start it and for example we pick up a weapon and then nothing is happening we have no dislocation because uh, well we haven't done so so far but now let's actually do this so every time we actually shoot so here once every time the timer is down so this is what we did last time we are now changing the weapon x and weapon y and how can we do this well we just say like hey the take the x position and then of course plus length dear x and then let's go for three pixels pixels or pixels back and then we can of course take the image angle of our player and of course not we don't want to uh, well have a recoil towards the player but backwards because we are firing and then well the recoil is recoiling and this is i guess the important part so let's go here and of course do this for 
the y value also and that is pretty much it so no specific no magic no nothing just basically uh, shooting and then it, we are dislocating every time we are shooting and of course um, later on it tries to snap back to its original position so let's say as you can see boom 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 not an issue and for example if we say like hmm we want to have a higher recoil then I've got I guess we go for higher values here I'm not recommending this because this could get into some real trouble so let's say let's go with almost 60 percent so here we are tending to the dislock more to the dislocated and we get into some trouble so let's say we are shooting and then of course this looks a little bit more impressive but let's say we are moving Ooh, okay so as you can see it is sticking way too much to the player for example if you're going then this looks kind of strange let's see this here and yeah this doesn't look good at all so as you can see just play around with the values but this is pretty much it so basically uh, we try to snap it back to a sensible moment so i would say 20 percent is good and then we dislocate it with the weapon x once we are every time shooting and this is basically it no magic uh, nothing special i don't know what to tell you <laughs> that was pretty much it for this video tutorial hopefully you liked it and tomorrow we're gonna do this thing the muzzle because this is a little bit more complicated but nothing special see you around and have a good one one up indie